Leilani McWilliams, and I am the Children's Librarian at the Kirkwood Branch Library of the Fulton County Library System. So today I'm going to do book stream for tweens. So let's find out what my book is about today. So this is Polly Diamond and the Magic Book by Alice Kuyper. So just a quick little summary about the book. Polly loves words and she loves writing stories. So when a magic book that can make everything she writes happens in real life appears on her doorstep. Polly is certain all of her dreams are about to come true. But she soon learns that what you write and what you mean are not always the same thing. So Chapter one. Today, something amazing is going to happen. Amazing things always happen in threes. Day one, on Friday, my teacher, Miss Hairball, told me my color poem was fantastic. Day two, on Saturday, my pet rock, Stoneface, smiled at me. I saw him, I swear. Today is Sunday, day three. So yes, today is going to be amazing. Super fantastic. I start a list on a blank sheet of paper. I love writing lists. To-do list for a super fantastic day by Polly Diamond. This is my list. Write a story, paint my bedroom, discover a secret treasure, travel somewhere no one has ever been. More than writing lists, I love writing stories. A story about a perfect house by Polly Diamond. My house is too teeny. My parents say it's cozy, but it's not. Our house is stuffed full. Our house probably feels like it has eaten too much food. And we have a new baby coming any day. When he comes, the house will be even more stuffed. Mom says Anna and I have to share a room now. So we have a room for the baby. Uh, yuck. We need a bigger house. We need lots of rooms. A perfect house would. I hear a drum roll and a trumpet blast at the front door. Everyone says I'm imaginative, but I definitely heard a drum roll and a drum trumpet blast. Maybe it's a caterpillar army on the march. Or a hedgehog band or an armadillo performing a circus trick. Yes, that's it, an armadillo. I run to open the door. It's way better than an armadillo. It's a package. I pick it up. It's hard, thin, and flat. It's wrapped in pretty polka dot paper. In the corner, a gold stamp reads, special delivery from the writing and spelling department. Below that, in letters as bubbly as clouds, it says, for Polly Diamond. My heart skips rope. I rip open the wrapping. Inside is a turquoise leather book. Turquoise, the best. My glasses are turquoise. My sneakers are turquoise. My favorite pen is turquoise. Also, not everyone can spell turquoise, but I can. I love words that are hard to spell. I open the book, a writing and spelling book for Polly Diamond. I wish my writing looked like that. 
Mine is as messy as my bedroom. I flip through the rest of the book. All the other pages are blank. Back in the kitchen, I hunt for my pen. I'm always looking for my stuff. I wonder if sometimes my things scurry around the house like busy mice. Where is my pen? Aha! I slide it from behind my ear. As I write, I try to make my letters as neat as possible. This book belongs to Polly Diamond. Whoa! A bizarre baffling thing happens. Under my name, a tiny black dot pops onto the page. Slowly, the dot moves all by itself. It becomes the letter H. I touch it. As I take away my finger, another letter appears. An E, an L is next, then another L, then an O. Then, like a sprinter rushing to finish the race, it spells my name, followed by an S. Exclamation mark. Hello, Polly Diamond. The book is writing back to me. And that was the end of chapter one. So if you'd like to finish the rest of the chapters, go to fullcolibrary.org homepage and Search in our catalog for Polly Diamond and the Magic Book by Alice Kuypers. So just a little bit about the writer, um, Alice Kuypers. She was born and raised in London, England. And Alice now lives in Canada with her partner and her four young children. Thank you all for listening to Bookstream for tweens. Have a good day. Bye-bye.